What is contract for deed? Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. Before starting, support the channel by liking this video and subscribing to this channel for future updates. In this video, we'll go over what a contract for deed is and how it functions. Understanding a deed contract in a real estate transaction, known as a contract for deed, also known as an installment purchase contract, or installment sale agreement, this involves the seller financing the purchase of the property, rather than a third party like a bank, credit union, or other mortgage lender. When a buyer is not eligible for a standard mortgage, it is frequently employed. Instead of getting a mortgage to buy a house, the buyer consents to give the seller monthly payments up front. After the sale is completed, the buyer can move in, but the seller still holds the legal title to the house. Only after the last payment has been received does the buyer become the owner. For many years, family and friend did property purchases and were being financed via contracts for deed. They are also used by some non-profit housing organizations to assist low-income families in locating a route to home ownership. However, some real estate investment firms acquired foreclosed homes during the 2008 financial crisis and then marketed them on contract for deed to buyers with low incomes or those with bad credit who were unable to receive conventional mortgage financing. Although a contract for deed can occasionally help a buyer who has no other way to become a homeowner, it is a high-risk choice that is vulnerable to exploitation and predatory behavior. Many of the consumer rights and safeguards that traditional mortgage holders are entitled to under state and federal law are also absent from it. The seller may terminate the agreement, evict the buyer without a foreclosure sale or legal action, and rapidly reclaim the property if the buyer misses a payment or violates other terms of the contract. Prospective home buyers should make sure they fully understand the scope of their obligations under the contract, all of the costs they will be liable for, and the risks they are taking, including how quickly they can lose the home and all of the payments they have made, before signing a contract for deed. If this video was helpful, subscribe to this channel for future video updates. What you should know. Vital advice. Before making a contract for deed house purchase, you should be aware of the following crucial factors. 1. Total price. Ensure that you are aware of and able to cover all the costs you will be responsible for. In addition to the seller's monthly installment payments, you will be liable for homeowner's insurance, property taxes, and any other costs specified in the contract for deed. Many homes offered for sale via contract for deed are offered as is and can need major repairs that come under your jurisdiction. You risk losing the home if you don't make the repairs as specified in the contract. 2. Payment by balloon. A contract for deed often involves an agreed upon price and payment schedule, just like in a regular mortgage. However, because the payments are frequently not spread out evenly over a lengthy period, you will probably be obliged to make a sizable one-time, balloon payment to finalize the purchase by paying the entire balance owed on the sale price. You'll most likely need to obtain a mortgage at that point to cover the balloon payment. You risk contract cancellation and eviction if you are unable to obtain a mortgage or otherwise pay the balloon payment when it's due. 3. Eviction and Cancellation the seller may terminate the contract and start an eviction case against you, in just 60 days if you miss even one payment, and if you are unable to make the balloon payment, or fail to comply with any other terms of the contract for deed. You will forfeit both the house and the money you have already invested in buying it. 4. Property liens and mortgages You incur the risk, of the seller encumbering the property with mortgages and liens, because the seller retains title to the property for the duration of the contract. You will lose the house if the seller doesn't pay the mortgage and it goes into foreclosure. When would it be advantageous to use a contract for deed? This kind of sale allows for flexibility by allowing both parties to customize the terms of the agreement to the circumstances at hand. Here are some situations when a contract for deed sale might be appropriate. 1. To eschew conventional finance. For buyers who are unable to obtain a conventional mortgage because of bad or insufficient credit, a lack of down payment, or other factors, contract for deed offers the chance to forego lenders. The seller may agree to a greater interest rate in this situation than what a lender would require. 2. To save money on fees. Contract for deed sales can cost less than conventionally financed ones, because they sidestep many of the associated fees that come with a typical loan. Closing costs may be less as well, for the same reasons. 3. To speed the home sale process. 
Conventional real estate transactions can take a long time. Between buyer, seller and lender, there are so many people whose schedules need to be worked out before everyone can sit down at the closing table together. Contracts for deed, however, can be speedy. All it really takes to file an official contract for deed is an agreed upon deal between the buyer and the seller. Since you have came along with me to this long, I would like to thank you and request you to subscribe to this video and like the channel. When the seller and the buyer are familiar with one another, a contract for deed is frequently used to transfer property ownership within a family, from one member to another. It can also be tempting for a sale to occur between close friends who are confident enough in one another to do it without involving a bank or other financial institution. Are there any drawbacks to a contract for deed, we must ask? There aren't many laws or guidelines governing a contract for deed because it differs from regular real estate transactions. The typical strict rules don't always apply when it comes to things like home inspections and appraisals. Make sure you comprehend the property's condition completely if you're the buyer before you sign on the dotted line. This is crucial since many properties sold under contract for deed are sold as is. The buyer may move in and take possession, but he or she does not actually own the contract for deed property until the sale has been fully finalized and all payments have been received. Therefore, if you miss one or two payments, you could theoretically get into more trouble than you anticipate. Under contrast to a typical mortgage, the selling party in a contract for deed agreement is not required to seek a foreclosure through the legal system. A balloon payment is frequently included in a contract for deed sale at some point during the payment plan, usually near the end. To avoid having their ability to meet the payment schedule jeopardized by the significant increase in amount, buyers must be aware of this and adequately prepared for it. Recording the Deed of Contract You must register the contract for deed in the county where the property is located with the Office of the County Recorder or Registrar of Titles within four months of signing it. If you don't, you risk paying a fee. The contract's recording will also assist in demonstrating your ownership of the property and safeguard you against encumbrances the seller may impose on the property after the contract has been signed. Tell us in the comments section below. And if you have any questions, or suggestions then feel free to mention them, in the comment section and we will surely respond to your request. If you liked this video, don't forget to press the like button, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.